Welcome to our podcast series on Gabon, brought to you by the YouTube channel Brain Booster. Gabon is a country located in West Africa, bordered by Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon, and the Republic of Congo. With a population of approximately 2 million people, Gabon is known for its rich natural resources, including oil, timber, and minerals. The capital city of Gabon is Libreville. In this podcast series, we will be exploring various aspects of Gabon, from its history and politics to its economy and culture. We will delve into the key events and figures that have shaped the country and discuss current issues and challenges that Gabon is facing. We will also be highlighting Gabon's diverse culture, including traditional customs and practices, art, music, and literature. And we will discuss the country's unique festivals and cultural events. Whether you're a student of African history, a business professional interested in Gabon's economy, or simply someone looking to learn more about this fascinating country, we hope you will find this podcast series informative and engaging. We strongly encourage you to stay tuned until the end of the podcast for valuable information and insights. So, sit back and enjoy the journey as we explore Gabon together. Pre-colonial history of Gabon is a story of diverse indigenous tribes and cultures. The area that is now Gabon was originally inhabited by various ethnic groups, each with their own unique customs, beliefs, and way of life. The most prominent of these groups were the Fong, the Punu, and the Nzibi. The Fong people, who make up the largest group in Gabon, were known for their intricate masks and sculptures, which were used in religious and spiritual rituals. They also had a complex political and social organization, with a system of chiefs and subchiefs. The Punu people were known for their intricate wooden carvings, which were used in rituals and ceremonies. They also had a matrilineal society, where descent and inheritance were traced through the mother's line. The Nzibi people were known for their traditional knowledge in agriculture, they were expert in cultivating crops like cassava, yams, and plantains. The indigenous tribes and cultures of Gabon had a deep connection to the land and the environment, and they lived in harmony with nature. They had a rich spiritual and religious life, with beliefs in ancestor worship and animism. They also had a strong sense of community, with a shared culture and customs that united them. Overall, the pre-colonial history of Gabon is a story of diverse tribes and cultures, each with their own unique customs, beliefs, and way of life, that have shaped the country for centuries. The colonial period in Gabon began in the late 19th century with the arrival of European explorers, primarily the French. The French were attracted to Gabon due to its vast natural resources, including timber, rubber, and above all, its rich coastal oil deposits. In 1839, the French explorer Pierre Savornian de Braza, who was known as the father of Gabon, claimed the Gabonese territory for France. Following the Berlin Conference of 1884-1885, where the European powers divided Africa among themselves, Gabon officially became a French colony. During the colonial period, the French government established control over Gabon through a system of forced labor, which was imposed on the indigenous population. The people were forced to work on rubber and palm oil plantations, and in mines, with little or no pay. This forced labor led to the exploitation of resources and the depletion of the land. The forced labor also led to the displacement and loss of lives among the people. The French also imposed their own culture and language on the people, and discouraged the preservation of indigenous customs, beliefs, and languages. This had a profound impact on the people, and disrupted their way of life. The colonial period had a significant impact on Gabon, both socially and economically. The exploitation of resources led to the depletion of the land, while forced labor led to the displacement and loss of lives among the people. The imposition of French culture also disrupted the traditional way of life and customs of the indigenous people. Overall, the colonial period in Gabon was marked by the exploitation of resources, forced labor, and the disruption of traditional ways of life. It laid the foundation for the economic and social challenges that Gabon continues to face today. During the colonial period of Gabon, there were several key historical figures that shaped the country's history. 
One of the most prominent figures is Pierre Savornian de Braza, also known as the father of Gabon. He was a French explorer and colonizer who claimed Gabon for France in 1839 and played an instrumental role in establishing the French presence in the region. Another key figure is Jean Hilaire Aubame, who was the first Gabonese to be appointed as a chief by the French colonial administration. He was a key figure in the early days of Gabon's colonial history, and was known for his diplomatic skills and his ability to navigate the complex political landscape of the time. Another important figure is Louis Paul Audulat, a French explorer, who was the first European to reach the Agu River, which is the largest river of Gabon. These figures played an important role in shaping the history of Gabon during the colonial period. Their actions and decisions had a lasting impact on the country, and continue to be studied and discussed to this day. Overall, the key figures during colonial period of Gabon were important players in shaping the history of the country and their legacy is still felt today. The movement for independence in Gabon began in the early 20th century, with the rise of nationalist sentiment among the people. During the 1950s, the country saw a growing demand for self-government and an end to colonial rule. One of the key figures in the struggle for independence was Lyon Mba, who became a prominent leader in the Gabonese Democratic Bloc. He was arrested several times by the French colonial authorities for his political activities, but he continued to be a leading voice for independence. Another important figure was Jules Aubame, who formed the Gabonese Progress Party and was one of the most vocal advocates of independence in the country. He also played a key role in the negotiations for independence with the French government. In 1958, Gabon became an autonomous republic within the French community, and on August 17, 1960, Gabon officially gained its independence from France. The key figures in the struggle for independence, such as Lyon Mba and Jules Aubame, played an instrumental role in leading the country towards self-government, and their efforts led to the eventual independence of Gabon in 1960. Overall, the struggle for independence in Gabon was a long and difficult process, marked by the tireless efforts of key figures such as Lyon Mba and Jules Aubame. Their actions and leadership were instrumental in leading the country towards self-government and independence. Post-colonial period in Gabon was marked by the presidency of Omar Bongo, who was in power for 42 years, from 1967 until his death in 2009. He was one of the longest-serving leaders in Africa and during his tenure, he played a significant role in shaping the country's political and economic landscape. During his presidency, Bongo implemented policies aimed at modernizing the country and diversifying its economy. He also worked to improve the country's infrastructure, education, and healthcare system. However, these policies were criticized for not being inclusive enough and for not addressing the needs of the poor. He also played an active role in regional and international politics, serving as the chairman of the African Union and being a member of the United Nations Security Council. After his death, his son, Ali Bongo Ondimba, was elected as the president. His tenure has been marked by efforts to continue his father's modernization policies and by addressing some of the criticisms of his father's rule. He also faced a number of challenges, including economic downturns, political instability, and disputes over the outcome of the 2016 presidential election. Overall, Gabon's post-colonial history has been marked by the long-serving presidency of Omar Bongo and his efforts to modernize the country and diversify its economy. The current president, Ali Bongo Ondimba, has inherited the legacy of his father and continues to face both challenges and opportunities as he leads the country. The political system of Gabon is a semi-presidential republic, where the president is both the head of state and the head of government. The president is elected by popular vote for a seven-year term, and has the power to appoint the prime minister and other members of the government. The Parliament of Gabon is a unicameral national assembly, consisting of 157 members elected by popular vote for a five-year term. The National Assembly has the power to pass laws, approve the budget, and hold the government accountable through its power of oversight. Gabon's judiciary is independent and is composed of lower courts, appellate courts, and the Supreme Court. The judiciary is responsible for interpreting the laws and protecting the rights of citizens. 
The country also has a decentralized system of government, where the nine provinces and the capital city have their own elected officials and local government councils. This allows for greater local autonomy and participation in the decision-making process. Overall, Gabon's political system is a balance of powers between the president, parliament, and the judiciary. It allows for the separation of powers and checks and balances, ensuring that no one branch of government holds too much power. The process of presidential elections in Gabon is conducted in accordance with the Gabonese constitution and the electoral code. Presidential candidates must meet certain qualifications in order to run for office, including being a Gabonese citizen, being at least 40 years of age, and having lived in Gabon for at least six months prior to the election. The campaign period for presidential elections typically lasts for several weeks, during which time candidates are allowed to hold rallies and make public appearances to promote their platforms and gain support. There are regulations in place regarding campaign financing and advertising, which are intended to ensure a fair and transparent process. The Gabonese Electoral Commission is responsible for overseeing the presidential elections, including the registration of candidates, the organization of polling stations, and the counting and announcement of the results. The Commission also has the authority to investigate and address any complaints or violations of electoral laws. Overall, the process of presidential elections in Gabon is conducted in accordance with the laws and regulations in place, with the aim of ensuring a free and fair process. The role of the Electoral Commission is to ensure that the process is transparent and that the rights of all candidates and voters are protected. Gabon has a multi-party political system and there are several major political parties in the country. The Gabonese Democratic Party PDG, is the oldest and most historically significant political party in Gabon. Founded in 1968, it has been the ruling party since then and its leader, Omar Bongo, was president of Gabon for 42 years. The party's ideology is based on a centralized government and state-led economic development. The Gabonese Union for Democracy and Development UGDD, is a center-right party that was formed in 1990 by former members of the PDG. The party's ideology is based on liberal democracy and market-oriented economic policies. The Union of the Gabonese People UPG, is a left-wing party that was formed in 1990 by former members of the PDG. The party's ideology is based on socialism and the promotion of social welfare programs. The Gabonese Patriotic Movement MPG, is a center-right party that was formed in 1990 by former members of the PDG. The party's ideology is based on the promotion of democracy, human rights and economic liberalization. The Gabonese Progress Party PGP, is a center-right party that was formed in 1990 by former members of the PDG. The party's ideology is based on the promotion of democracy, human rights, and economic liberalization. These are the most important political parties in Gabon and the political landscape is constantly evolving. The political parties play a significant role in shaping the country's political discourse, and their ideologies and leaders have a profound impact on the country's political and economic development. Gabon, like many other countries, is currently facing a number of political issues and events, including The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, Gabon has been affected by the global COVID-19 pandemic, which has had a significant impact on the country's economy and society. The government has implemented measures such as lockdowns and restrictions on travel and gatherings in an effort to curb the spread of the virus. Economic challenges, Gabon is heavily dependent on its oil exports, and the decline in oil prices has had a significant impact on the country's economy. The government has been implementing economic reform measures, such as reducing public spending, in an effort to address the economic challenges. Social tensions, Gabon has a significant youth population, and there are concerns about high unemployment and lack of opportunities for young people. This has led to social tensions, with protests and demonstrations becoming more frequent in recent years. Political stability, Gabon's political stability has been challenged over the years. There have been disputes over the outcome of the 2016 presidential election and the death of Omar Bongo in 2009. 
This has led to social and political tensions in the country. Corruption, Gabon has been criticized for high levels of corruption in its government and business sectors. This has led to a loss of public trust in the government and has hindered economic development. Human rights, Gabon has faced criticism for human rights abuses, including restrictions on freedom of speech and assembly, and the use of excessive force by security forces. These are some of the current political issues and events in Gabon. The government is facing multiple challenges in addressing these issues, and their resolution will play a significant role in shaping the country's future. The pandemic has further amplified these problems and the government is trying to balance between public health and economic development. The current government of Gabon has implemented several policies and initiatives aimed at addressing the country's economic and social challenges. Economic reform, the government has been implementing economic reform measures, such as reducing public spending and diversifying the economy, in an effort to address the economic challenges faced by the country. This includes initiatives to attract foreign investment and promote the development of new industries, such as tourism and technology. Infrastructure development, the government has been investing in infrastructure development, including the construction of new roads, bridges, and airports. This is intended to improve connectivity within the country and enhance economic opportunities. Social programs, the government has implemented several social programs aimed at addressing poverty and inequality. These include programs to improve access to education and healthcare, as well as initiatives to provide housing and other basic services to underprivileged communities. Environmental protection, the government has been making efforts to protect the environment and preserve the country's natural resources. This includes initiatives to reduce deforestation, promote sustainable agriculture and fisheries, and protect endangered species. Fight against corruption, the government has taken steps to combat corruption, including the creation of an anti-corruption agency and the adoption of laws and regulations aimed at promoting transparency and accountability in government and business. Overall, the current government of Gabon has implemented a wide range of policies and initiatives aimed at addressing the country's economic and social challenges. While the effectiveness of these policies is still being evaluated, they represent an effort to address the pressing issues faced by the country. Gabon's foreign policy is focused on promoting regional stability and economic cooperation. The country is a member of several regional organizations, including the African Union AU, and the Economic Community of Central African States ECAS. Gabon has traditionally been an active participant in the AU and has played an important role in regional peacekeeping efforts. The country has also been a member of the United Nations Security Council and has been active in promoting peace and security in Africa. In terms of economic cooperation, Gabon is a member of ECAS, which aims to promote economic integration and development in the Central African region. The country is also a member of the Economic and Monetary Community of Central Africa CMAC, which aims to establish a monetary union in the region. Gabon also has good relations with many countries in Africa, Europe and America, and it has been actively promoting cooperation on trade, investment, culture, and other areas. In recent years, Gabon has also been actively seeking to strengthen its ties with China, Russia, and other major powers, in order to diversify its international partnerships and to secure new sources of investment and aid. Overall, Gabon's foreign policy is focused on promoting regional stability and economic cooperation, as well as strengthening its ties with other countries. The country plays an active role in regional organizations such as the African Union and the Economic Community of Central African States, and it is also seeking to diversify its international partnerships. Overall, Gabon is facing a number of political challenges, including economic difficulties and social tensions. The government has implemented policies and initiatives aimed at addressing these challenges, but the effectiveness of these policies is still being evaluated. Gabon is also playing an active role in regional organizations and is seeking to diversify its international partnerships. The future developments in the country will depend on the ability of the government to address these challenges and to promote stability and economic development.
The economy of Gabon is heavily dependent on its natural resources, particularly oil, timber, and mining. Oil production is the main source of revenue for the country, accounting for around 80% of Gabon's exports and 45% of its GDP. Timber and mining also play a significant role in the economy, with Gabon being a major exporter of manganese and other minerals. Gabon's economy has been affected by the decline in oil prices in recent years, and the government has been implementing economic reform measures, such as reducing public spending and diversifying the economy, in an effort to address the economic challenges faced by the country. These initiatives include attracting foreign investment, promoting tourism, and developing new industries such as technology. Gabon has strong economic ties with other countries, particularly its neighboring countries in Africa, Europe, and the United States. The country has been actively seeking to strengthen its economic relations with China, Russia, and other major powers in order to diversify its economic partnerships and secure new sources of investment and aid. In terms of economic challenges, Gabon has been facing a high rate of poverty, high youth unemployment and high inequality, which have led to social tensions. Additionally, the country is facing a significant infrastructure deficit which impairs the development of some sectors, such as tourism. In terms of opportunities, Gabon has a relatively stable political environment and a strategic location that can be leveraged to develop its transportation and logistics sector, which could be a key driver of economic growth in the future. Moreover, Gabon has a significant potential in renewable energy, which could help diversify the economy and reduce dependence on fossil fuels. Overall, Gabon's economy is heavily dependent on its natural resources, particularly oil. The country is facing economic challenges such as decline in oil prices and high poverty, however, it also has opportunities for growth by diversifying its economy and leveraging its strategic location and natural resources. Gabon's culture is a blend of traditional customs and practices of its indigenous tribes and the influences of French colonialism. Traditional customs and practices in Gabon include the use of masks and sculptures in traditional ceremonies and rituals, as well as traditional music and dance. The Fong people, one of the largest ethnic groups in Gabon, are known for their intricate masks and sculptures which are used in rituals and ceremonies. Gabon has a rich art scene, with traditional art forms such as sculpture, textiles, and pottery being popular. Gabonese art often reflects the country's wildlife, landscapes, and traditional customs. Music is an important part of Gabon's culture, with traditional music featuring drums, percussion instruments, and other traditional instruments. Gabon has also produced several famous musicians, such as Patience Dabeni, who have gained international recognition. In terms of literature, Gabon has a small but active community of writers and poets who often explore themes of identity, culture, and history. Gabon also has several unique festivals and cultural events throughout the year, such as the Fates de Masques in Libreville, which is a celebration of traditional art and culture, featuring mask dances, music, and traditional games. The Fates de la Mer in Port Jonti, which is a celebration of Gabon's coastal culture and seafood. Overall, Gabon's culture is a rich blend of traditional customs and practices, art, music, and literature. The country is known for its traditional ceremonies and rituals, as well as its unique art and music scene. Festivals and cultural events such as the Fates de Masques and the Fates de la Mer provide opportunities for people to celebrate and experience Gabon's rich cultural heritage. Gabon's culture is an important aspect of its identity and is an integral part of the country's history and society. In conclusion, this podcast has provided an overview of Gabon, covering its history, politics, economy, and culture. We discussed the country's key industries, political system, economic challenges and opportunities, traditional customs and practices, and unique festivals and cultural events. Gabon is a country with a rich history, culture and diversity, it is facing economic and political challenges, but also has opportunities for growth and development. The government is working on policies and initiatives to address these challenges and promote stability and economic development. We hope you have enjoyed this podcast and have learned something new about Gabon. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more informative and educational content. 
And don't forget to check out our other videos for more insights and perspectives on Gabon and other topics. Thank you for listening.